This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Daryl Nunn back with me here in the studio. Welcome back to FYI, Daryl. Well, thank you very much for having me. You are the director of Shirley Valentine. You're with the North Grenville Community Theatre. Thanks for coming back. Uh, but Shirley Valentine, my goodness, that's an undertaking. It, it is more of an undertaking for the actor slash actress who takes the role. It, it's a fantastic play, but it's a real task for one person. Some people may have seen the movie and thought, well, Shirley Valentine has six or seven people in it. And the answer is, yes, it did as a movie, but the stage play came first, and one person plays all the parts, and that is what makes it most fun. And the entire thing, too, as well, too. And I, I knew that about the play coming in today, but what you told me right before we went on, tell us about the script for the poor lady. <laughs> well, 36 pages of type 10 font with no paragraphing. We've been memorizing this for eight months. She is fantastic. All right, so let's talk about Jory, Jory Basque. Yes. She is gonna be the lead and y the only. <laughs> yeah, she is definitely the lead and she is also all the small parts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she came to the auditions and I fell in love with what she did and her delivery, her face, her body movements, the tones of voice, everything that you need to make a one person show not seem like a one-person show and to really enjoy the fact that wow now she's this person now she's that person I can't believe it how did she do that switch her body her voice her face yeah she's a fantastic actress oh my goodness and physically too, the voice I mean I, mm -hmm. I find after a morning of taping FYI sometimes you know I'm really slugging back the water trying to keep That's my voice right. how does she do it my ah, goodness well part of the fun of this is the first line in the play is you know I like a glass of wine when I'm cooking the <laughs> evening meal. So we don't actually have wine on stage, but we have a mixture of water and apple juice that looks suitably wine-like, so she can have a glass of wine whenever she needs to slake her thirst. Oh, there we go. Let's talk about the play. What is it about? It is a comedy. That's the most important thing. But the thing that matters to, I hope, a lot of people who go to the theater is it's not just a comedy that you can forget. It reminds you of so many episodes in your own personal life through the years. And it is something that can sometimes be a bit risque, sometimes be poignant, sometimes be a little bit shocking when you th see Shirley do things and then I hope you think, whoa, I remember when I and something in your own life is sparked by what you see on the stage. Absolutely, and I, I, I wrote down what I think you had on your Facebook page too. Shirley is a bored 42-year-old middle-class Liverpudlian? Yes. Is that how you say it? Yes. <laughs> we aren't going to try to do accents. We're doing a tone. One of my, she does a fantastic job, but if you try to do accents too much, everything else falls by the wayside. It's too much to learn. So it's an approximation <laughs> of a Liverpudlian accent, but it isn't the Beatles. Okay, <laughs> okay. And she's a housewife uh, whose life uh, w was initially enriched. She had an enriched marriage, uh, and now she's settled into a narrow and unsatisfying rut. She is talking to the wall. There's a lot of humor in this. That's the excuse for who her dialogue is with the wall and with the audience. For the first two minutes of the play, people might be thinking, well, uh, uh, but you're, you're drawn in. I, as the director, have had the privilege of just watching the play and watching the audience. I've never seen an audience so rapt. It's a brilliantly worded comedy that touches your heartstrings all the way through. Valentine is Shirley's maiden name. Okay, okay, and it almost sounds like she, the audience is going to start feeling like they're talking to, she's talking to them. Uh, definitely, yes. That's right, that's right. Now your audience, uh, they're gathering at the Legion this year. It's the this Legion. Time. Yes. We're in the, in the Legion in Kempville. Some people might think, why are you doing this? Why not in the big auditorium? And the answer is, this is a very intimate show. You want to be close to the face, the voice, the body movements. A big auditorium, one person show was my judgment call no let's do it small so we get 50 or 70 a night and they're all close to the stage and that's what really i think makes it work 
Absolutely, absolutely. Now, the dates that the play is going to be going on? It's going to be on the weekend after Thanksgiving, so the Friday night and the Saturday night at 7 o'clock and a Sunday 2 o'clock matinee. That is the weekend right after Thanksgiving. We didn't want to do Thanksgiving, and we got a week off because mm -hmm. we've done one weekend already. That's right, that's right. So the tickets are available? They're available at the door, which is sometimes the easiest way. If you're in Kempville, you can get them at B&H Grocery Store. If you want to get them online, you just go to our website, ngct.ca, or just Google Shirley Valentine Kempville, and it'll connect you. And we'll find jewelry. We'll find we'll jewelry find there jewelry for sure. Or something. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Now you've been with uh, the theater uh, group for a while now too. What have you been involved with in the past? Well, I ended up getting involved because I saw an aud audition notice in the local newspaper back in 2018 for an inspector calls, and so I showed up knowing nothing about the group, and I haven't managed to escape ever since. <laughs> right now I'm the vice president and I have, I think this is the fifth play that I've directed for them. Excellent, excellent. Have you been involved in different ways too? Like you've been up on stage? Have you been? Uh, yes, yeah. well, I was helping with the set on this one. We have a, a marvelous set for a very little 12-foot stage. So I, I did some of the grunt work. I was the sous chef. <laughs> and that's important too in a play. Oh, very it's like much. Sometimes you only see the, pl the players, or, or in this uh, ex example, it's going to be one, one uh, actress, but there's people involved in the background. There are so many people. I mean, our production team for a one-person show is about 14 people. And, and I love the delegation and the way everybody just takes it on. I get to actually just direct I used to teach high school where you got to do everything. So I am so happy <laughs> to be able to just direct. And Jory has been a dream to direct. Excellent, excellent. And you say you've already presented this? We did it for the weekend before Thanksgiving. We decided to try this out two weekends, two weeks apart, hoping that word of mouth and something would spread it around. And also to give us a bit of a break. So yes. Absolutely. I mean, uh, Shirley Valentine sounds like she needs a little break when she's the, the only person right. talking for, I, I'm assuming, about two hours? Yes, it's 2.20 with a 20-minute intermission. Okay. Uh, first act takes place in her kitchen, and the second act takes place, da-da-da-da, in Greece. Okay. Oh, she does make she it to Greece. She makes it. She gets I, to Greece. That's not really a spoiler alert. Okay. Uh, she makes it to Greece. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Awesome. So once again, can you tell people the dates and where to get the, the tickets? You can go and see <clears> it on <throat> Friday at 7, Saturday at 7, Sunday at 2, the weekend after Thanksgiving, Kempville Legion. Tickets are $20. You can get them online. Just Google Shirley Valentine Kempville or ngct.ca. <laughs> uh, but getting them at the door will be the easiest way rather than having to figure it out in advance. That good old-fashioned way. Good old-fashioned way. <laughs> well, thank you <clears throat> once again for joining us here. Daryl Nunn, director of Shirley Valentine with the North Granville Community Theater, joining us here on FYI to tell us about Shirley Valentine. We look forward to it. Thank you very much.